Hello, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, this is the Leyden Spelder uh, Mantegna Tarot uh, from Germany, 1540, and it's by Renesimento Arts. And here's the box. Looks like a book. It's like Giordano Berti. It's made to look like a, a leather book. It has the metal tips, the satin string. It looks like a book. And then in this one, this is the art edition um, deluxe. So here I get there's a little booklet talking about all the different cards. It's called 50 Steps to Your Rebirth. And it's written by Giordano Berti. This is not my first Mantegna I have. This is my fourth Mantegna deck. But in this one, I got a handwritten note from uh, Giordano Berti. Dear Johnny, today you have received a work of art that embodies an ancient but always alive knowledge. When you start studying these images, you will never stop because the Mantegna later spilled, spilled a tarot will show you day after day your personal path to truth, goodness, and resil re I can't read that word. All the best, Giordano Berti. So if you order the art one, you got a special handwritten note from him. So that's mine. And it comes in sort of a satin bag. Oversized bag. And that with a drawstring. And the inside of it is flocked in red. So let's look at them. So here are the cards. They are a big size. Let me zoom out. There we go. Um, here's the numbered card. So this is an edition of 300. This is 41. Signed by Giordano Berti. And then the cards are, they have a golden edge to them. You can see that. And then there's, you know, all 50 of them. The back, this is the type of paper they're on. Actually, let me look at that. It's kind of hard to see if that's printed on. Maybe just coloring. Uh, but the cardstock is very nice. Um, it's fairly thin pliable, but it's um, sturdy enough, not coated. Um, so here is the, this is the Miser card one. Here I have the um, Meningello um, Mantegna, and if you compare, they're, they're very different. So this one's a bit bigger, and then you can see the shading is different. Uh, even the folds, are they're, they're different cards. Look at the trees. I mean, it's like the bricks are completely different, so there are different decks. Looking at another card. The um, Meningello deck is very delicate. It almost feels like the paper is, if you rub it too hard, the images will come off. So here, very different. And then, so that's comparing the Meningello. Then I have the um, Solioni edition uh, that was put out in, this is a 1465. Um, it was an edition of a thousand. 
and it was put out by US Games with 500 for the US. Um, and this one is a, I think it's a European one. So for this one, this one again is different. So this one resembles more of the um, meaning yellow with the way this looks. This one has more detail, this one's more simplified, and this one is actually lighter compared to the Minigello one. And one thing that um, Bertie takes um, pride in is sort of exact reproductions as far as if you look at the cards, the, the source material, you can see, and I'll go through them, that there is um, staining on some of the cards, which would be on the ones that were looked at. So let's put this inside and look at the cards. Here we have the miser. The artisan. The merchant. Words I can't really pronounce, they're in Italy, they're Italian. Cavalier. See so here's some staining and some and that is kept. So this is not a restored deck. He's actually commented on one of my videos, they're not it's not a restoration. And I prefer a non-restored historical one. Because it may be covering up something that's significant. Like the Solabusca that was restored by the Scarabeo, um, it's it's it, it's lacking something. You know, I want to see the dirt. I want to see, you know, like I was holding the original in my hand. And these cards are absolutely beautiful. And they're such a beautiful size too. So these are larger, this one is larger than the other. So this came, uh, it was published this year, it came out in two sizes. This is the larger size and there is the slightly smaller size. And you get a different box. One of the, the um, it's probably a, like a coffin box. Clamping. And you see these, there's a, it's a sort of yellowish with a definite shading from, from the um, engraving. It's clear, they are very lovely. And they really feel like a, an ancient, an ancient treasure. I mean, all the subtleties, the mountains, the trees. Italia. This vine. Melpamine. Herbie. Cleo. I love this one where she's standing on the swan. Apollo. I mean, the fabric, the foot, this one's just off the, the hands, everything, so delicate. Victorica. Geometria. 
I mean, look at the landscape here. It looks like there's sort of a crane there. We have trees. We have a, something on the mountain there, the hill. Arithmetic. It looks like she's counting seeds in her hand. This is uh, music. Philosophy. Astrology. And I love this sort of Janus face, the two faces over the cosmos. And then this one's nice. Like the dark forest there in the background. Time or Chronos Chronico. Cosmico. So we have sort of a forerunner for temperance. We have the two vessels. Prudence, we have another two-faced figure with a reflection. A little griffin down here. And this is uh, strength. So we have lion mask, lion armor, and an actual lion. So here is the one that's on the cover of the um, Minigello. And it's almost identical, almost. But if you look, there's a difference. There's, I mean, the lion looks completely different. The column looks about the same. The hair is different. This one, you can see some of the engraving a little bit better. But all the cards match up with numbers, like this one's the B, B37, so it goes from E to, to A. Justice. Charity. Then we have sort of the stork figure. Speranza, I'm not sure what this is. See this, you can see the staining there. It looks like I spilled coffee on it or tea. Or blood. Fide. Luna. I like this card that with the um the sky and Mercurio, Mercury with the winged feet also representing the planet Venus here we have goddesses we have looks like Cupid there and we have the Sun we have Sort of Apollo's chariot, Cancer, the sun, Icarus falling. Mars, a chariot. Jupiter. And then Saturn. It's all the planets that were known at the time. And here we have Saturn eating a child. 
Look at those ugly little babies down there. With their grown-up faces. 48. I love this one. This one, another is so beautiful. Prima Mobile. And Prima Causa, the universe itself. And that is it, that is the Leyden Spelder Mantegna. So I'm gonna put the numbered card there. This bag, usually it's a gauzy bag. This one is a little bit, um, reminds me of like a graduation robe fabric. I'm gonna put my note that was written to me in the bottom. And then let's look at the booklet. Let's pull up a random Sure, let's do Luna. So Luna, um, upright reverse means traveling, work, vacation, attraction to the unknown, dream, love, adventure, little anxieties. The iconography of the moon derives from Marcus Manilius's Astronomicon. It was used in various Renaissance artistic works, such as the fresco of the Camera della Stella in Palazzo Trinci in Felig Foligno, and in the relief of the Molesta Temple of St. Francis and Remini. A woman stands on a cart drawn by two horses and following an elliptical line flies over an aquatic landscape. With her left hand she holds the bridle, with her right she rises the crescent moon. Two horses traditionally represent day and night, the night regime and the diurnal regime of thought and action. According to ast astrological tradition, the moon is a feminine planet, is cold, wet, phlegmatic, its metal is silver, governs water and aquatic works. The moon also controls the night, the dreams, the unconscious, fantasy, and memory. The figure represents an invitation to not deviate from the path started to control emotions, feelings, and anxieties. Hmm. And how the other ones are you know, rhetoric, rhetoric, Jimmy, Posia, Philosophia, their muses. Oh, look, there's some extra. I love these extra images. Let's look. The music of the spheres. Which is why the figures are holding spheres. The staircase to God. Steps of spiritual evolution. And then it's the cards. And then there's some of the other stuff in the back. There's Bertie. Giordano Bertie. And that's it. So that's me talking about the Antagna from Renascimento Italian Arts. So I hope you enjoyed looking at the cards because they are they are lovely. They really are. Um, anyway, thank you for watching.